sleeping said, I had this encounter and I was literally overshadowed with a dark presence that I had never Jesus. experienced before. And it felt like someone was sticking a sharp instrument in my head. And I literally just seized. I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. And this went on for several minutes. It was the most horrifying thing I had ever experienced in my life up until that point. And what I did was I just said, you know, Lord, please. And when I did that, it lifted. And I thought, I know the solution to this problem. Don't ever go to sleep again. No, 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 no. no. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> but what I did was I went to my local pastor and I asked him about it. And he explained this, this phrase to me I had never heard before. Oppression. He told me that what I experienced was something called demonic oppression. And so uh, when he told me that, he told me to get some anointing oil and pray over my room. And it's, it ceased for a while. But then when I was about to be baptized in water, I was about to go through a water baptism mm -hmm. with the church. And I knew my life was about to really change. I'd just been baptized in the Holy Ghost. And I was just so excited. And the night before my baptism, I was literally suffocated in my sleep. It's like someone was literally drowning me underneath the water. And the more I tried to talk or speak, nothing would come out just like, like a fish in a fish tank. And all of a sudden, I screamed at the top of my lungs. I said, Jesus! It's like I came out from under the water and I yelled at the top of my lungs. And my father was in the house and he said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I, I, was, I was choking to death. But something happened that Satan didn't plan. What's that?